Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Oh, you're right awful there, laddie. Maybe so, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the jerk's on me, don't ya? Can't we stop that? Like I said, the smoke's on you! I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here, right in front of my face. It's moving counterclockwise. We must be in the Northern Hemisphere. Look behind the mirror. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! Roger Bohr, Spy Corps King of Covert Capers. Yes, and I'm very good at hiding too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. Wow, this place is crawling with bad guys. I'm going to need some serious spy action to get through them all. This rocket-powered origami skateboard looks like it's going to be fun. To make the rocket-powered origami skateboard, I need to follow the folding order of the different colors on those instructions. That did it! Now I'm rocket-powered and ready for action! A giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. 
The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the super spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spy Fox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up Mobile Command Center there. Of course! Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox! Luck has nothing to do with it! Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So, this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. The lights are all out in the pizza shop. Oh well, I had pizza yesterday. What a cool jukebox! That's not on this jukebox's playlist. It says patches. And he gave me these words How's it going, Sport? Do I know you? How do you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. They grabbed the guy next to you. Why are bowling shoes always some strange two-tone color? That's to keep people from stealing them. You wouldn't want to be seen outside a bowling alley with them on, much like golf shoes. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, Sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One for customer trades welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. At first I ignored him. So That's where I keep so my spy free. gadgets. But sure enough, the dogfish I think I should wait until I'm actually day. in the bowling area to put the bowling shirt on. I'm in the pro shop right now. With every heave and every sigh. Just laugh it off, learn to live and let cry. Now this is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. I learned that one back when I was on the Spy Corps bowling team. I think it's best to only wear bowling shirts when I'm in a bowling alley. They don't let you swim on through. So if your pal gets scooped. The lights are all out in the pizza shop. Oh well, I had pizza yesterday. C5. I need to use this song code to get into mobile command and... <laughs> now 
Now that's music! <coughs> Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. The Duck Blind. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the duck blind on like a hat and it renders you invisible to all ducks. This I've got to see. Hey Quack, what's for dinner? Well, I was... What? Hey, who said that? Out of sight! This should come in handy. That's where I keep my spy gadgets. The Grappling Granny. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Spy Rust Buster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The lights are off, so they must be... It's the gate to Poodles Galore's cosmetics factory and it's locked. That looks like a keycard device. Through the use of deductive reasoning, I bet I'll need a keycard to get through that gate.
Monkey Penny, did I ever tell you about the time I went undercover as a hot dog vendor? No. What happened? I couldn't cut the mustard. I went to a wig shop the other day. Oh, did you get a wig for a special disguise? No, I walked out. I didn't want to pay. Mobile? Please stand by. The mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Do you have any advice? Remember to talk to people. They often provide clues. Excellent advice, Monkey Penny. Thanks. Did you know that a crude form of bowling can be traced all the way back to 3200 BC in Egypt? My, aren't you a fountain of trivia? I already have four gadgets. I'll have to put one back if I want a different one. I have to put a gadget back before I can take another. Back in the vending machine with this spy gadget. A spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. I should only use the spy bowling ball in a bowling lane. I should only use the spy bowling ball in a bowling lane. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a proper bowling shirt. How uncivilized. I'll get right to it. There's something fishy going on here, and it's not my deodorant. I should only use the spine bowling ball on a bowling lane. I'm ready for some serious bowling. If you were seriously on my team, you would have the correct color shirt and a name patch that matches the name on our roster. Here's where... I think I'd rather have that bowling shirt with the pink on it. They all have pink on them, pal. Have a nice day. Thank you. It's a free name patch maker for bowling shirts. Oops, I need to insert a bowling shirt before I can make a name patch. That... This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy. That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the name anytime I want. I might need that bowling shirt. 
I'd better take it with me. I'm ready to bowl. Darling, you have the right shirt color, but the name on your patch is wrong. You must not be on our team. That's a pretty keen bowling shirt you have on. Do not bother, Acer Champ. They must stay mentally prepared to bowl. Let's get bowling. You are not on our team. Your shirt is the right color, but the name on your patch doesn't match the name on our roster. Goodbye. It says, Ace. The name on that roster matches the patch that Big Bowler has on his shirt. It says, Champ. That Big Bowler has a name patch on his shirt with that name on it. It says, Harry. I bet that is the name of the Bowler Poodles is waiting for. It's a free name patch maker for bowling shirts. That's an interesting name to put on my bowling shirt. bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! No! He got away! No matter. It is too late now. Champ! Ace! Back to the factory! It's time to really heat the place up! Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chickle. Chickle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One prickly pear pizza. A freshwater pearl farmed only in the lake. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my key card to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin. Or at least get a bad sunburn trying. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. It will be good to have my spy wheels back.
the Spy Pearl Detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great! There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. must have fixed the Trans-Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. My spy watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Please stand by. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's Cosmetics Factory to gather information. He left here wearing a darling red wig. That is a darling red wig. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for him. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. This spy car is a miracle of modern spy technology. Quack programmed it with all the destinations I need. With the push of a button, I'm off. Ah, the jungle. An ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here, too. That's quicksand. If I'm going to get to the other side, I'm going to have to go over it, not through it. There aren't any ducks I need to hide from here. The grappling granny won't do me any good. It's the... I don't see anything I need to bust. The Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists, such as Georgia O'Keeffe and George Harriman. Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Or it could have been on the Greek Isle of Acidophilus. My name's Bee. Bee Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Say, for instance, honey? Just let me know. Thanks, Bee. I will. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Thanks, Bee. You must really like honey. Are you kidding? I love honey. And anything honey flavored. You know what I mean, honey? I think I get your drift, Bee. What brings you to the desert? Prickly pears. I love them. Prickly pear pudding. Prickly pear sandwiches. Prickly pear pizza. Prickly pear gumbo! I get the prickly picture. That diverted the water into this calm little reservoir. I've diverted the river into this nice calm reservoir. The river is now flowing into the reservoir. Hold on there, 
are you? Only beekeepers tending to their bees can go into the prickly pear ranch. How do you know I'm not a beekeeper? If you were, you would know that all beekeepers must wear their beekeeper hats. You mean I'm not wearing it? How silly of me. I'm going to have to wear a beekeeper hat to get into the prickly pear ranch. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. That guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. Hmm, that board must be caught on something. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. This one should be good on pizza. Yow! I wonder if they de-prickle these before they go on the pizza. Prickly pears will remain in the prickly pear ranch. Couldn't I keep it just this once? I really need this prickly pear. Sorry, pal. Nice trip. See you next fall. I can now get the prickly pear pizza push pin needs for the congeal pill. I wish my tux had a prickly pear pocket protector. This thing smarts. The lake. The freshwater pearl farm must be on that platform out in the middle. Avast, matey! I need a ride out to the pearl farm. The fate of the world depends on it. Empire State Building? Won't find that around here. I don't think that fisherman heard a word I said. I can't use the grappling granny there. It's the rust buster. This is some freaky shack. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. What sort of products do you sell here? I don't sell anything! Wow, that's gotta be bad for business.
pork rind soul pizza. In a place like this, the soul could refer to the bottom of your shoe. I'll pass. Sea cheese special. No thanks. I'll stick to pancakes. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Well, good for you. My name's Pia the Donut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. Pia, I'm in desperate need of one of your prickly pear pizzas. I'm afraid the shop was burglarized last night and you'll never guess what they took. Well, the way things are going, I guess all your prickly pears. That's right. And the only clue they left behind was a torn piece of pink cloth. But if you brought me a prickly pear, I'd be happy to make you a pizza with it. Here you are, Pia. A juicy prickly pear fresh from the desert. Can you bake me one of your special prickly pear pizzas now? Of course. I'll have that ready before you can say... Hooray for Hollywood! There you are, Mr. Fox. Freshly baked prickly pear pizza with extra simulated cheese. Mmm, yummy for your tummy. Thank you, Pia. It's just what the scientist ordered. You mean doctor? No, I actually do mean scientist. Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth, Poodle's Galore's aerosol onslaught continues. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the Earth. <laughs> All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen. Poodle's brand SPF 2001. Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but the undisputed ruler of the world. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to shine. Hello, my name is Fox. Spy Fox, I'm on a secret mission to save... My name is Cookie! I'm a Cookie Scout! I bet you must really like cookies to be a Cookie Scout. I really like the official Cookie Scout stunt bike I'm gonna get when I sell all my cookies! That's what I like! Well, I risk bee stings and scalding hot cheeks, but I've got the prickly pear pizza. Push pin! That was a vital ingredient for the congeal pill. Yes! Without the pizza's nourishing qualities, I would have collapsed with hunger. Now all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin Shickle from the heart of the jungle. The aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from the orbiting aerosol can itself. A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. Then I'll have found all the ingredients to make the congeal pill to stop the orbiting aerosol can. Plato Pushpin's key card worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean.
I'm in the cosmetics factory. I have two objectives in here. One, borrow Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Good enough, I do Go to old numbers. I can't hear what those guards are saying. I need some additional hearing aid. I'll save this spy gadget for later. The canned laughter. How does this gadget work, Quack? Just pop the top and toss. The sound of laughter will be everywhere. It can be very distracting. I guess you could say it creates a laugh riot, eh, Quack? Yes, I guess you could say that. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. Maybe this spy gadget will come in The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than fresh and breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark Spy Mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, Quack. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. in the vending machine with this spy gadget. The sticky stun bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack. That is by far your most stunning gadget yet. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. That must be some sort of security device. How diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device, otherwise known as a wig making machine. Good enough, I do go to old numbers. I can't hear what those guards are saying. I need some additional hearing aid. 
Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Psst, Spy Fox, over here. Eh, uh, who said that? Over here, the redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry, there's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a yellow pompadour, accented with a delightful butterfly accessory. Got it. Thanks for the hairy information. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged out machine can make. That's a pompadour style wig. I bet this wig will look nice on me. Not bad, but I think I'll keep it in my pocket until I really need it. Yuck! Talk about a bad hair day! My wig disguise got me past that hairy scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. The sticky stun bun worked! Quack's caramel-coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. This rocket ship is locked up tighter than a really tight thing. I'm going to need a key to get into it. It's a safe, and it looks like it contains a key. I just bet that's the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key to get into Poodle's rocket ship. I have to get this safe open. I'm going to need that key, but I'll come back later. Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping. Wearing the duck blind won't do me any good. There aren't any ducks around. I can't use the grappling granny there. I can't use the rust buster there. That's a great megaphone. Thanks! I use it to shout at potential customers because I can be hard to hear! What kind of potential customers? Potential cookie buyers! I only have to sell three more boxes of cookies to get an official Cookie Scout stunt bike! Completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana style saddle, alligator grips, and this thing in the handlebars that tells time!
Wow, that sounds pretty neat. Are you a potential customer? No, I'm a spy. But I tell you what, I'll help you sell your cookies so you can get that bike. Then you won't have to yell through that megaphone anymore. Thanks, Mr. Spy! Here you go! No problem. Why, I remember with... Now get selling! That's not going to do me any good. You really should try these luscious lemon listings. No thanks. As an actor, I really have to watch what I eat. And I really don't see me eating anything like that. Would you like to buy some delicious coconut curry crunches? No, thank you. I'm simply not motivated to buy anything like that. I bet you'd like to buy some honey-baked beet biscuits, wouldn't you? No, thank you. I get to eat all I want working here. And when I'm on the set, the food is catered. It says, free pizza today. Wow, what a great promotion. I bet you'd like to buy some honey-baked beet biscuits, wouldn't you? Sorry, that's not my kind of cookie. These coconut curry crunches really look delicious. Wouldn't you like to buy some? No thanks, I don't like that kind of cookie. Can I interest you in some luscious lemon listies? Luscious lemon listies. Sure, I'll take a box. It's amazing how they get such a lemony flavor without using any lemons. On behalf of the Cookie Scouts, thanks, sport. You're welcome. Here you are. I sold one box of your cookies to a very satisfied customer. Thanks, Mr. Spy! I'm one box closer to my official Cookie Scout bike! It was my pleasure. Anything that... The sooner you sell the rest of those cookies, the sooner I get my bike! So time's the wasted! Would you like to buy some honey-baked beet biscuits? You must be joking, Mr. Spy Fox. I know what they put in those things. These coconut curry crunches really look delicious. Wouldn't you like to buy some? There is not a single natural ingredient in those. I wouldn't think of it. I bet you'd like to buy some honey-baked beet biscuits, wouldn't you? No thanks, Spy Fox. I'm on a fiber-only diet. Can I interest you in some honey-baked beet biscuits? No thanks. They might make me sleepy, and I have to stay alert while I'm on a mission.
There's going to be a bungle in the jungle today. The spy toaster only goes straight up. That quicksand is mucky. I'm going to need a real swinging way to get across it. All right, Granny, do your stuff. I wonder if the pattern on top of that pyramid is some kind of code. My name's Fox, Spy Fox. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying chickle for my PhD in gummatology, but some pink clad pranksters locked all of the chickle inside Chickle P2. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle P2 on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle P2. Got it! With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. I interest you in some honey-baked beet biscuits. No, thank you. I prefer something crunchier. Would you like to buy some delicious coconut curry crunches? Oh, I sure would. I love coconut curry crunches. They have the perfect mix of coconut, curry, and crunch. So, if you were looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu, where would you look? I'd look for it in an import shop. I overheard one of those big pranksters mention something like that. Good idea. Thanks. That's a lovely bunch of coconuts you have there. Thank you. I've grown quite fond of the flavor of coconuts since I've been here at the jungle. Do you know the whereabouts of the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu? I can't say exactly, but I did overhear those pink pranksters say something about an import shop. An import shop? Interesting. I need to figure out this hieroglyphic code to get into Chickle Pichu. I cracked the code! 
Now I need to use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Then I can get in there and get that chickle. Here you are, Cookie. Only one box of cookies to go. Hot cake! I can feel the wind in my hair already! You must be... Let's move it! You're not selling any cookies just standing there! The spy ear. That sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. the entire load of cassavas. Wham! <laughs> the spy ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Where we're heard of comforting elbow cream as a combination for a safe. Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> the combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. I hope Monkey Penny... Comforting elbow cream. It's the com- That crazy combination worked. I've got the key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. Boy, Poodle sure doesn't miss a trick. Her rocket ship is locked up tight. We have liftoff. The key worked. I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil. Sweet sabotage. Look at the size of that aerosol abomination! I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn! That is easily the biggest can of aerosol I've ever seen! I've got to stop that onslaught of aerosol because there's no zone like ozone!
I'm going to put a stop to Poodle's pernicious power play permanently. Then I'm going out for pancakes. That's not going to do me any good. Talk about Harry's... I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chico Pichu. Have you seen it lying around here anywhere? The ancient amulet of Chico Pichu? When I hunt out exotic props from my headshots, I look in import shops. An import shop. Now that's a good idea. So, if you were looking for the ancient amulet of Chico Pichu, where would you look? I'd look in an import shop if it were me. But you do what you want. It's said. I bet you'd like to buy some honey-baked beet biscuits, wouldn't you? Are you kidding? Those have nothing but chemicals in them. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chico Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Dixie's flaming lip gloss. Hmm, that sounds like some kind of code phrase. I need the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Dixie's flaming lip gloss. That must be some kind of code phrase. If only I knew what the correct response was. The Rust Buster won't do me any good. My spy watch is beeping. I better answer it. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's cosmetic factory for you. I can't quite make her out. 
Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah, it must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious. And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. <laughs> Plan B. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits? Honey baked beet biscuits from the Cookie Scouts? The one and only. Of course I'll buy a box. They're so full of honey-baked beet goodness. I can't stand it. Cookie, I sold all the Cookie Scout cookies you gave me to sell. Hot bananas! Now I can get my very own official Cookie Scout stud bike completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana style saddle, alligator grips, and that thing on the handle in 12 time! Bye, Mr. Spy! <laughs> Gee, kids are so cute. Loud, but cute. No one will misunderstand me when I use this little baby. Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. Pink Hoochie Poochie Shadow. White Pants Face Powder. Minty Green Loot Cream. Blue Powdered P Corinthian Wrinkles Beat Salt and Pepper Sprinkled. Make a Dish Found at Dixie's Flaming Lip Gloss. Dixie's Flaming Lip Gloss. Pressing that button accessed a counter code phrase. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet to get into Chickle Pichu. Right. Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. The jungle has been the backdrop for many Hollywood movies.
The amulet worked. I'm in there like swimwear. No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. Those blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades! Quack's Instant Oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. But it is a spy toaster and I am a spy, so here goes. I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy. Uh-oh. That was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. of which were far superior to the major brand. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe, the compact crash of 97, the Bay of Polish in 98, Now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either base themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let try. Where is the chickle, Pushpin? Ah, the chickle! Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. Now all I need is a freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. 
and then I can complete the congealed pill. Sorry about your megaphone there. My name's Herman. That's okay. My friend Cookie was done with it. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to... Hop aboard. I haven't gone all day. Thanks for the boat ride, Herman. Poodle's Pearl Farm. I'm getting close to that pearl now. That was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. I'd better not let him see me. Let's just see how that malicious mallard likes Professor Quack's duck blind gadget. Duck blind, don't fail me now. I walk right past that guard. The duck blind impaired his ocular nerve center. In other words, he didn't see me. I'm in the oyster house, but look at that mountain of mollusks. I'm going to need help picking a pearl out of this pile. This pearl detector will find the shy shellfish who's hiding the pearl I need. I'm getting colder. I'm getting warmer. I must be getting closer to a pearl. I'm getting warmer. Okay, oyster, don't be shellfish. Hand over that pearl. I've got the Pearl Plato pushpin needs for his congeal pill. Back on Poodle's Galore's Aerosol Space Station, we find she has called a meeting with the highest muckety mucks of the cosmetic industry. Sable Keen, the top boss in blush. Mary Eyeliner, winner of the 1999 Smelly Award for the perfume, You De Pew. Thank you for coming, darling. I invited you here today because together you represent the cup I mean the cream of the cosmetic world. But now, you are to become the cosmetic supplier to the stars. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to have those perfume posters out of my pink poodly hair. Now I can get on with cosmetic domination. Tell me a fish story, Herman. I had a big yellow fish on the line once, but it pulled out a pair of plastic safety scissors, cut the line and got away. Could I trouble you for a ride back to shore, Herman? No trouble at all. Thanks, Herman.
I had to muscle this pearl out of a selfish shellfish. But here you are, Pushpin. What a superb pearl, Mr. Spyfox! Now all I need is the APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. I hope... APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. I certainly don't... Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spyfox. That is the final ingredient. Now I can finish the congeal pill. Mr. Spyfox, you must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take this with you, Spyfox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. It also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal. I s Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps... I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy! I must warn you that I'm an expert in cock-a-doodle foo. Drat. That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, 
Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? <laughs> Uh, how do you like them apples, Poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! I can't let Poodles get away. A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy. Not so fast, Poodles Galore! this impenetrable force field protecting my moon base. I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical. A fingernail recognition device. Uh-oh, I hear a guard coming. My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. I wonder what those lights are all about. I'd better stay out of sight until that guard is gone. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. I need to enter the code correctly to open that door. That opened the door. I'm in there like swimwear. This is Poodle's Moon Base Control Center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the super spy mess. I don't think that's the best use of the canned laughter. I'm going to have to mimic Poodle's fingernails exactly if I'm going to get that device to work for me. 
there's a room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing, spy style. Ow! Oh, the humanity! Oh. <laughs> Pickled potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug on that powder puff first. Uh. Interesting. That switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That switch must be the off switch for Poodle's pink powder puff pummel device. Now to shut off the... 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 Puff! Oh! Ow! Oh, oh! Where's my stunt double? Spy mint won't do me any good. I don't think that's the best use of the canned laughter. Uh. That switch doesn't seem to do anything. I suppose it could control something in another part of the moon base. That looks like some kind of closet, but I don't see a way to open it. There must be something really important in... Funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. Delicate yet distasteful. I can't use that there. Only a mind tarnished with evil could come up with a powder puff trap like that. I can't use that there. Let's see if spy maneuver number 24, grasshopper on paper, will get me to the puff off switch. If that controls the transporter on the walkway. I wonder if the missing electrical component is used to turn it off. Perfume bottle fit perfectly. I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious! That perfume bottle was really a diodic stopulator in disguise. That pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got! Ah! Heh! 
It was just a little powder. The Dionic Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's Powder Puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base. These buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodles has set up around her moon base. It's a close-up of Poodles Galore's fingernails. I need to paint mine exactly like hers so I can deactivate the force field. This looks like an automated fingernail painting machine. How handy! I need to use it to paint my fingernails exactly like poodles. This allows me to pick blue with these buttons I... That painted my fingernails and they look pretty. Black, blue. Blue diamonds. Now that's trend setting. It worked! Now to muzzle that poodle for good. Monkey Penny, the force field is down. Sick him! Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's my... Oh, never mind. Going on. Oh, the chump that turned the force field off! I'm that chump, Poodles. You again! This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock a doodle poo. Not so fast, Poodles. I am hideous! Thanks, Monkey Penny. It really wasn't necessary. I was using the Spy Play Possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the Limp Biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the Dead Fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and capturing that pernicious poodles galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. <laughs> His life where danger Restart. Dwells. He spends Quit. days in peril. He gets the clues that solve the crime. He always helps his fellow man. He has the gadget to make him cool. He can't escape any trap. He's got the gumption that we need to save us all from the pool. Trap, who don't matter?
Thank you. 